How you doing everybody? Arcader Zero here with another role-playing game review. Now, people have been telling me to pick this game up for a long time, and I picked it up like a few months ago, a couple months ago, a few months ago, I can't really remember. And everybody's raving about this game. Um, I did a little bit of research online. I found uh, this girl here who seems way enthused about uh, the Cypher system. Um, look at her. I mean, I wish I had her energy. Uh, she looks so happy. I wish I had her happiness. Um, and then there's this guy who's talking about power shifts. He's really excited about that. So I had to get into this game. I had to find out what it is. I mean, there's plenty of uh, uh, YouTube videos on this game. Oh, look at this. They said, move over D&D. &D. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that, but um, it, it is a different choice. So let's get into it. It is the Cypher System role-playing game. Um, which brands itself as a, uh, like a universal role-playing game system, um, which technically, yes, it is. And uh, I think it was based, I don't know if they came out with, there was a, uh, game called Numero, which this is kind of based on. I'm not really sure which came first. I, I, I think it was Numero came first and they built this system. They said, Hey, let's make it into a universal system. Um, so first let's talk about this book here. Okay. It is a big book you get you get your money's worth when you buy this thing um it's about around 420 430 pages somewhere around there so look, look how thick that is oh yeah that's a big hefty book you got here um the, starting off with the cover i love the cover this is this cover is hot and they did some other covers like this too um so it, it's uh it's pretty cool they got like little silhouettes going on it looks like hey well i could do that or this or that the art inside is fantastic. And uh, tell you a little bit about the uh, inside of the book. Um, this has to be one of the best formatted edited books I've ever read in my entire life. Um, whenever you're uh, looking at something and say, oh, what's that? Chances are look over on the side and it mentions what it is and what page you can find it on. So it's very easy to navigate. This book is so easy to navigate. Um, so props to that. Whoever did the design of this book, um, I applaud you. you. You know, you didn't get paid enough, in my opinion. I don't, I'm not sure how much they paid you, but not enough. Um, tons of great art in it. Um, really get, gives you the feel of, uh, you know, that you could really play almost anything in here. Can we? Look at that. Look at that. Is that an awesome drawing? Look at that. Hold it closer. Ooh, there we go. See, that's cool. So much cool stuff in here and uh, a lot of great information. Now let's get to whether uh, I like it or not. No, no, I'll, I'll save that for later. Um, let's talk about the system itself. Um, the system, uh, it, it's very, very simple. Kind of. Um, all, all you're doing, first of all, the GM, the DM, or whoever you prefer to call yourself, uh, they do not have to roll any dice, um, which is pretty cool. Um, all they're doing is they're setting a static difficulty. And so if I say the difficulty is uh, three, okay, you're going to have to roll above a nine because you have to multiply times three on a d20. Um, now, players get an economy uh, to lower the difficulty of that task or spend points from a pool um, in order to uh, lower that difficulty. So it's really up to the player uh, to manage if how, the best amount of it. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, it's up to the players to um, manage their resources to lower the difficulty of the task in order for them to succeed. Um, it has three stats in it. It has uh, speed and it, it has like a might strength, um, a might stat, like a strength stat, and also uh, like an intelligence, a mental stat. And so it's kind of like Tri-System and a little bit Cypher in that way, because uh, even though Cypher, you can have as many stats as you want. Um, but it, it reminds me a lot of that. Um, and your speed is your dexterity and how fast you can go and your reflexes might is obviously your body, your health, your strength. Um, then you've got your, you know, your, 
the good old fashioned intelligence and uh, mental know how and willpower and everything else. Um, and each of those have a rating and a pool, and the pool you can draw from. What's really kind of strange is um, that the might pool is also your hit points. So technically, I guess you could try so hard at something and pass out. I don't know. I'll be honest with you, I've never played it, okay? I've read it over a few times. Um, a lot of my friends say, oh, you got to try it out. Um, apparently there was like a video game based or something like that. I'm not sure. One of my friends was talking to me about that. But anyway, so that's the basics of the system. And I like it. Okay? I think that is good. I don't know how to make a character in this game. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I've been trying. It's The character generation is really weird. Because you have levels or tiers, so you advance up, you get access to different abilities, which kind of works really well for like a Dungeons and Dragons type campaign or maybe a Gamma World campaign. But like when if you're doing like a, a supers role playing game, and you say, okay, I want to make uh, this guy who can fly, and then you look and your flight isn't available until like your level two or three, um, which is really strange. Um, and I've been trying to figure it out, and I can't. I'll be honest with you. Maybe somebody can help me out. Maybe somebody can, you know, at some point walk me through character creation. Because trying to create a character that I have in my head, which a universal role-playing system should be able to do very easily, I can't do it. Okay? If we were to set up a campaign, let's say a post-apocalyptic campaign in the Cypher system with their rules, I could do it. Okay? You're kind of like, all right, these... Okay, you're going to start out with a class. Um, they do have classes in this. And then you can put flavors on the class. Like you can be like a, uh, you know, kind of like a, um, a fighter type. And um, you could be have like magic flavor. So you, it's really weird. Okay. I can't decide if that's good or bad. All I can tell you is I haven't figured it out yet. Um, they have a... Uh, something unique when you're building your character okay okay here it is so uh this plays a part in your character creation you have a descriptor i am an adjective noun who verbs okay um uh, so i could be a uh you know brash warrior who smashes through walls or whatever you know the descriptor of the, the that they have in there. That's really weird. Um, I don't know if it works or not. Uh, but it does play a part when you're creating your character. Um, which is very interesting. So, yeah. There's that. I always look at this character creation thing as like a smooth noodle map. It's something I look out. And when I look at it, it kind of makes sense. But it just went above my head. Um... The uh, the other thing it has in it, which is really weird, and it's based in the title Cypher Systems. You have ciphers you can use, which are like these one-use items. And I, I sat for days trying to think of how I would work that into campaigns or make great ciphers, and I can't come up with it. Maybe I'm just not imaginative enough, or I don't know. Um, so uh, the book, do I recommend it? I don't know. <laughs> I, can't, I can't figure out the character creation enough to really uh, do anything. Now, I did get Claim the Sky, which is like their supers thing, which I'm really into superhero role-playing game, in case you haven't uh, noticed. And I read it, read through it, and I don't understand it. Because <laughs> it's all about character creation, which I can't figure out. Art in this is great. Once again, layout is great. Um, it has fantastic art in this book. I love it. I'll do something on this book. Um, but it's interesting. Look, look at the characters like Lord Ash. Look at him, all right? He looks pretty cool, all right? Look at him. All right. But all he really has is, is a uh, difficulty number. 6, 18. Everything is kind of like based off that, which is interesting. Damage. Okay, you only have like three tiers of damage okay a little bit a medium amount and a good amount 
Okay. I don't know how you'd run kaiju with that. I, I think it has something to do with uh, the guy talking about power shifts and doing like super strength. Um, so listen, if you want to buy Cypher, then do it. A lot of people love it. Okay. I understand the basics of the system. I can't figure out the character creation. I am really lost on that. Um, but it is a gorgeous book. It's very well edited. I like it just to have it on my shelf. That's how beautiful this book is. Okay. Um, Cypher system. You stumped me.